Care Now, episode 22. Here we are at Warren Tracome, fourth floor, 969 East 76th Street between Park and Madison. Boomer and Shaker, Edward Tracome, what's hot for hair in 2024? A whole a lot of good things. <clears throat> We're doing a lot of bobs. It seems to be making a resurgence, which is always a really good thing. And also for this coming spring summer, you're going to see a lot of shags being done, so we're reviving the shag. Are they universally appealing for everybody, or are there a certain... A lot of, believe it or not, a lot of people can wear that hair, but very universal. Great. In the way it looks. Especially these days, I mean, what we're trying to do with them, some with really great colors, like, you know, really light blonde, platinum blonde, or you can have rose, you know, to make it even, even more fun. You know, so I like to shave for the summer. It's a great haircut. You could just wash and wear, and you could just wash and wear and go. Wonderful. So, how is this new location going for you? It's going great. Going great. Really, really well. What do you love about the Upper East Side? Well, you know, I like, I love the neighborhood. Uh, it's, uh, it's a neighborhood in, in real life. I mean, it, it, you know, it has uh, people that actually live in the neighborhood. It's got great restaurants. You can't beat the restaurants. You got John George. You have the Mer hotel, you got great hotels and other things around you. You've got great stores. It's Madison Avenue. How can you beat that? Can't beat that. Can't beat that. So we've been doing this for 15 years now. Right. And our readers are aging because time is going by. What should reader what should people know, both men and women, about aging hair and like as people's hair changes color and as they lose their hair, what should people do to fix that? Well well first of all, you know it, there's things you can do for aging hair. One is is a, a capulous cap, which is a laser cap that you can buy online. I recommend it. It's helped stop hair shedding and all that and keep promotes good hair. How do you spell the name of that? I, I'm not sure, but I can, I can find out later for you. It's called capulous. Okay. So uh, the other uh, uh, thing that uh, we, we recommend is certain hair vitamins. You know, there's Nutrafol, and I also sell hair vitamins here that are great for your hair and your skin, so that's also important. You good nutrition. And that, coupled together with the cap, really helps promote good hair growth. That's for people who are shedding or losing hair as they get older. Uh, what do you do when you get older? You know, uh, don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been working with you for 10 years, and I'm not sure either of us have aged a bit oh, because I'm you're so wonderful. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Fashion Week is coming up in New York. Mm -hmm. What should we know about this year's Fashion Week in February? Well, it's more serious. I mean, you know, uh, sales of clothing all around are, are not doing tremendous. So the designers are very serious about the collections that they're doing. They're very thought out. Uh, I always work with the best designers. I'm working with Frederick Anderson, who I always work with. I love Frederick, and then I mention him. Uh, his collections are always fabulous and always great uh, clothing that you can wear casually and dress up with. So he has wonderful things. There's always something in his collection you can find to wear. Are there any certain trends that you think will stand out? No, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty hard pressed about trends because, uh, like I said, the shag and the bob are the hot haircuts right now that we're doing. Uh, I think uh, the better part of this kind of get shorter into a bob to the shoulders, this chin length bob and so on and so on. Uh, this spring again you're going to see me doing a lot of layered short shaggy haircuts for the spring and summer. So uh, those are things that you can look forward to seeing. But I, I always, everything I do cut and do is always classic. So you know, these haircuts have been cutting, been cutting forever. You know, so it's just, uh, it's like a repertoire of music, like if it was the Stones, you know, you, you, you have, you know, you have the, the greatest hits, and we still have always the greatest hits of all the haircuts that we cut, angle cuts, long hair, so on and so on. So at my level of work, is is it's really thought out, we look at the person's uh, uh, hipness factor, their body weight and height and facial structure, you know, who they are as a person, you know, and what looks that they can really carry off fashion-wise, you know, if they're very fashion-forward, then we can push the envelope. If they're not as that fashion-forward, but we still want to keep them modern and, 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 and current, and we cut haircuts that are appropriate to that as well. 
And is, what is going on at Warren Tracomi around the world? Because of course we're here in New York and you mm -hmm. have a spot in East Hampton, I believe, and also yes, in Connecticut, and, and Connecticut around and, here, but right. you're, you go 14, way beyond this. Yeah, we have 14 in India and we have three in Japan. And they're gonna start building more in Japan, so we're gonna have more outlets in Japan soon. Okay. In the next year or two, I think they're gonna start building some other ones. So we're excited about that. Well, thank you so much, Edward. Happy New Year. Happy we'll New see Year. you in May. All right, everybody, bye.